With this in mind, Atlassian approaches ITSM from a lean mindset. We take a look at the project, evaluate the needs of the project, then make it easy for IT teams to collaborate in real time. The goal of this approach is for organizations to have a single solution where teams can work on the type of issues they care about with their own workflows, data schemas, screens, SLAs, and reports while giving end-to-end -end visibility to IT management. With our lean approach, there are four core ITSM processes, service request management, incident management, problem management, and change management. Let's go deeper on what each of these processes look like within an organization. Service request management is a formal request from a user for something to be provided, like when someone asks for a new MacBook. For IT teams, requests for IT services often exceed the supply of available time and resources for most organizations. They are constantly responding to requests from the business, often falling into the mode of reacting first to the end users who make the most noise. Meanwhile, employees complain that IT is difficult to work with, unresponsive, and takes too long to fulfill the services they need to do their job. By implementing a service request management process, you can help your IT team to make it easy to ask for help with simple service, self-service, provide answers with knowledge-based suggestions, and streamline request fulfillment to deliver optimum service. The second process is incident management. When there's an unplanned interruption to an IT service or reduction in the service quality, such as a website going down, Incident management is one of the most critical IT support processes in, that an IT organization needs to get right. Service outages can be costly to a business, and IT needs an efficient way of responding and resolving these issues. Incident management helps to respond effectively, define clear accountability, collaborate and resolve issues faster, and improve continuously. The third is problem management, a process designed to eliminate reoccurring incidents and minimize incidents that can't be prevented. The goal of problem management is twofold. Its primary focus is on minimizing the adverse impact of errors within the IT infrastructure while preventing the recurrence of incidents related to those errors. Problem management can help to find root causes faster, improve visibility and link problems to software issues, and deflect incidents and share solutions with the IT team. And finally, change management, a standardized method to control changes to IT systems to minimize the impact on services. Every IT landscape must change over time. Legacy technologies need to be replaced and IT needs to roll out new solutions to meet business demands. As we continue to watch the digital transformation of the services and applications under the control of IT teams, we see an accelerated rate of change that these teams must manage. Change management can help to prioritize and manage changes effectively, simplify change approvals, and coordinate change requests with software releases. With these core ITSM processes in mind, Atlassian has developed a suite of tools that work for each one. Jira Service Desk, Jira Software, Confluence, HipChat, and Status Page. Rather than dive straight into how each product works for each of the processes, we thought we'd first walk you through a real-world example we experienced here at Atlassian of how these products were used within the Atlassian ITSM framework. This real-world example fell under incident management. This is an incident that happened in mid-September and involved Atlassian's media services team. The media services team builds a business-critical service which is used by most Atlassian products, powering file attachments across the product suite, among other things. That afternoon, the service started returning a massive number of errors. Error counts like this don't go unnoticed for very long at Atlassian. Our ops team was quick to act. In high stakes situations like this one was, it's more important than ever to have a plan in place. At Atlassian, we organize the process around three key areas. You have to be able to detect problems, 
swarm to resolve the incident quickly, then recover and learn. This is important so you can move towards preventing similar issues in the future. And you have to do this all very fast. We started with detection, which can often be a challenge as you have a bunch of monitoring tools that can be flooded, that can be flooding you with alerts. And you, you could be getting messages and notifications from customers or from your colleagues, all coming through different channels with different pieces of information. This makes it hard to piece it all together. With Jira Service Desk, you're able to link all of these channels and fragments of information together and have a single source of truth for your teams. Integrations with the major monitoring tools also means you can link the actual alerts that relate to the incident. Without Jira Service Desk, all of this critical incident information, including the messages from customers, would be trapped in multiple systems and teams across the org making communicating in real time to solve this problem next to impossible. The next step was to communicate with teams. The reason this is crucial? Well, you've been there before. You just discovered everything is on fire in your app and you keep getting swamped with requests from your customers, your colleagues and other stakeholders in your organization. Now, the moment an incident hits, our support team wastes no time to update the services status page to tell customers what's going on. This is important as customers rely on the services we provide. They expect and quite frankly are entitled to instant updates. Using status page, the support team can update customers via their preferred channels, be it email, SMS, or embedded status in their own apps. And the status updates also pop up on Jira Service Desk. This makes it easy for the support team to be proactive and keep customers abreast of all relevant updates as they get closer to resolution. By being transparent and providing timely updates, customers trust you're keeping them in the loop. So not only does your support team look good, the quantity of inbound incident related requests is drastically reduced. But in the case of an incident, it's typically not just the customers who are desperate for updates. You have internal stakeholders who want to know what's going on as well. The beautiful thing about status page is that you can have both a public version for customers and an internal version. So the moment the incident hit, our IT team uses a private status page to proactively update internal stakeholders. This is the same incident, but on an internal status page. Internal stakeholders want to know more and have lots of questions. And it's important to anticipate those questions by providing them with the details they need, such as which teams are involved in the incident resolution, the severity of the problem, how many customers are impacted, and the chat room if they want to get the latest information. So with status page, both our IT and support teams get channels to proactively communicate to all interested parties when services go down. And more importantly, both teams get room to breathe to solve the incident at hand. Okay, you've figured out there's a problem and you have a way to keep everyone informed. You've gained some room to breathe, but you've got to move fast. Improving major incident response is one of the number one goals for any IT team. It's all about finding ways to lower MTTR and streamline the process of finding the root cause to prevent future outages. This is where we move into the resolution stage, where minutes can turn into hours if you don't have the right people, end-to-end -end visibility, and quick ways to collaborate in real time. Responding to an incident requires people from far corners of your organization to come together quickly and operate at an incredibly high standard under extreme pressure. With today's state of siloed systems and information, that's very hard to do for most organizations. But customers are dependent on us. For our media services incident, our team sprung into action. And when it comes to troubleshooting major outages, we rely on detailed troubleshooting guides close at hand to help investigate the issue. Some IT teams refer to these types of guides as runbooks. Runbooks help IT teams quickly solve major incidents because they have critical service and application troubleshooting information in one place. And in many cases, this can reduce incidents resolution time by 40%. 
Our IT and ops teams use their incident runbook in Confluence to identify the right people to pull into the response team. Once assembled, the incident team already had a head start with their incident ticket in JSD, their key reference point throughout the whole incident, and a communication channel to their stakeholders and customers via status page. On top of this, they use two live tools to work together in real time, a live incident room in HipChat and a live incident document in Confluence. Two live tools meets, may seem like overkill, but if you've ever been on an incident response team, you know incidents can get complex real fast. So bubbling up and sharing key information from the free flowing conversation becomes crucial as we shall see. Starting a dedicated room in HipChat gives the response team a central command center enabling the fastest possible swarm. You are able to operate fast because anyone across the org can drop in, easily get full context, and get you the answers you need to make rapid progress. You also won't worry about missing a beat as updates happen. Jira notifications of any changes in the incident ticket automatically show up in the room so you can divide and conquer without worrying that you'll miss an important notification. I will say though, as the incident gets more complex and involves more people, messages can come and go faster than you can keep up. So lately, we've been partnering our live incident room with a live incident document in Confluence. A live incident document is where everyone puts their theories, work streams, timelines, and draft communications. It's more curated and organized than the free-flowing chat room, making it much easier for everyone. As everyone is working fast and furiously to get to the root cause, they're updating the document live and simultaneously, thanks to Confluence's collaborative editing. The live incident document is a rich document that coupled with the chat transcripts from the HipChat incident room, snapshots of monitoring tools, log files, and the incident ticket in JSD, ends up being massively useful after we find the fix and reflect on how we can improve our incident response time in the future. Having a live incident room and live incident documents side by side is a relatively new practice for our incident response teams, but already we can't imagine life without it. So we've detected the incident and proactively communicated it to our customers and internal stakeholders and our incident response team sworn to, swarmed to resolve it. And all of this was done really fast. Job done, right? Not so fast. We have a third area that is as important as the other two. I would even say even more important as this is where you get compounded gains and make big strides in improving your service quickly over time. This area, the recovery stage, again requires many different teams to collaborate as you're about to see and where we do the post-incident learning and review of everything that was discovered. This helps the team so we can either take action to fix it or potentially open up more long-term problem investigation. It starts with a post-incident review. A post-incident review or PIR is an opportunity for all the people involved in resolving the incident to get together and review what happened. They reproduce a timeline of events, reviewing all major milestones, when and how the incident occurred in JIRA Service Desk, when the first communication was sent in status page, when decisions were made in HipChat, and when a fix was pushed in Bitbucket. Because all this information is on one platform, it's really quick to create the timeline from the incident ticket, the chat logs, and the live incident document. Imagine if you had to dig through different document folders, emails, and a separate customer service app. With all this information captured, you have all you need to do the root cause analysis. Taking the time to do the post-incident review ensures your team finds not just a band-aid, but identifies the underlying problem so that this type of incident doesn't happen again. Once you find the underlying problem, you'll surely have a list of tasks for teams across your company. If these tasks don't get actioned, it's likely that the incident will happen again. For us, what was most important was making sure two different teams actually implemented rate limiting for a scenario they had not anticipated. It all sounds straightforward so far, 
But the problem with these tasks is that once the incident team is disbanded, they can easily get lost. We recently learned via a survey from our friends at Google that 70% of PIRs are never looked at again. And the majority are kept in places where no one will find them again. They're in emails, chat threads, and document folders. And this means the tasks that were key to preventing the problems from reoccurring never get actioned. Not so with JIRA, but you all probably know that better than anyone. With all your teams on the same JIRA platform, the tasks from post-incident reviews go right into the backlog of the delivery teams that need to take action. You can easily zoom in on any past incident and see how the fix is prioritized in the dev team's work. And JIRA provides the means to systematically track and report on what matters and makes it easy to see how many actions from past incidents are still pending and shine a light onto problem areas. Another popular place to manage action items and teams assigned to them is in Confluence. Using Confluence for this can make it easier for stakeholders and upper management to review what happened and next steps. But we have to take this further. The best way to understand it is to look back at the media services incident. In the weeks after the team implemented a fix hardening the service, Bitbucket and HipChat had several incidents. The symptoms were different. The technical solutions for each incident were different, but the underlying root cause turned out to be similar. Each service needed a better way to handle unexpected spikes and failures in the infrastructure. This is not something we could have found automatically in code, but by reviewing findings and sharing learnings across the org, we were able to identify common areas we needed to strengthen across our microservices. Atlassian has always had a strong culture of sharing team and individual insights. With Confluence, important insights are no longer lost or siloed, and with many more teams involved in running a service, sharing is no longer optional. It is critical. To build a resilient service, it's important to propagate learnings as it is to contain problems. We've made great strides in dev and IT. It all comes down to helping your team swarm to resolve problems quickly, keeping stakeholders and customers informed every step of the way, and being systematic in learning and propagating insights across teams to drive rapid improvements. Going back to where we began, we were able to accomplish this by working with the Lean ITSM framework and using all of our tools, Jira Service Desk, Jira Software, Confluence, HipChat, and Status Page. Now let's talk a little bit more about each of these products and how they fit into Atlassian's ITSM framework. Jira Service Desk has everything your team needs for all of the core ITSM processes, service request, incident, problem, and change management, and is Pink Verify certified. Customers can submit requests via a simple self-service portal and machine learning will intelligently re recommend the right service and learns from every interaction so the answers are easy to find. Agents can easily set up automations so they can focus on solving the important stuff and help lighten the workload. Jira Software, as I'm sure many of you know, is Atlassian's core product and the number one software development tool used by Agile teams. IT teams can use Jira software to organize large change management projects and problem management initiatives, or even manage routine maintenance tasks. And if your software teams already use Jira software, you can link IT tickets to the dev team's backlog to get to the root cause of problems before they escalate. Confluence is our content collaboration and knowledge based software. As we mentioned earlier, for ITSM, Confluence is the place where service teams create customer-facing FAQs, internal runbooks, and troubleshooting guides. Moving to Confluence means you can leave the frustration of email and Word docs behind for a better way of capturing and collaborating around important information. HipChat Data Center is our own self-hosted communication tool for enterprise technical teams. With HipChat, IT teams can easily communicate with teammates using group chat, video, or screen sharing in one-on-one -on -one conversations or private and public rooms from any device. 
It's powerful integration with JIRA empowers teams with centralized alerts and notifications, as well as contextual discussions and troubleshooting. Last, but certainly not least, Status Page is Atlassian's alert tool. It allows IT teams to report on the status of all IT services, giving the whole company one dedicated dashboard to check on status information and subscribe to relevant notifications. With Status Page, IT managers reduce the volume of inbound support tickets, while internal stakeholders get the information they need pushed directly via SMS and email, taking the hassle out of incident communication.